You want to know something really fucking offensive? And I'm not talking about any other therapist. I'm just talking about me. I'm not talking about any other clergy person or any counselor or anything like that. Just me and my work in counseling people. And it's simply this. Ultimately, I can't fucking help you if you don't submit. Until you can submit to the fact that in this one teeny tiny area of life, I know more than you do. And I'm better at this shit than you are. And that I am more powerful than all of your fears. And that I can extract those fears and draw out your true inner voice and your true strength and your true power and your true greatness. Then unless you can submit to that fact, unless you can trust me with you, I can't fucking help you. Any therapist will tell you the person you can never help is the person who resists and resists and resists. You can't help that person. They don't want to be helped. Their fear is too great. And obviously it's fear operating here. Obviously you don't know what you're doing in your life. You're trying. It's not for lack of effort. You're trying, but you don't know what you're doing. Because if you did, why the fuck are you in a therapist's office? Right. My goal is to get you to the point where you don't need my voice. You don't need my method. You don't need my strength. You don't need my challenging. You don't need me holding your hand and, and cradling you in your hardest times. That's my job, is to cradle you and to challenge you simultaneously, to compel and to convict, to get you from point A to point Z, where you know you wanna be of peace and happiness. My job is to get you there. You can't get you there, at least <laughs> not as quickly as I can, all right? So ultimately, it's about trust. So let me ask you this, and it's not tr do you trust your therapist? Do you trust the person you're going to for counseling? And I don't mean trust them like, they're, are they honest? I mean, sure, that's important. But do you trust that they have the ability to take you from A to Z? Because if you don't trust that, you're not going to submit. You're not going to open up. You're not going to lay yourself bare before this person, metaphorically speaking. Do you trust? The essence of great therapy is trust. And with my clients, ultimately, it's just submission. You have to submit. Just like I submit to my car mechanic when I bring my uh, car to her. And she's brilliant. She kicks it into exactly where it's supposed to be. I submit to my urologist or my skin doctor because I know that they know way fucking more than me. Do I ask questions? Sure. Do I resist at certain times? Yeah, if I feel it. But I don't let my fears become so fucking great that it overwhelms and outweighs their expertise. Do you trust your therapist? All right, can you lay yourself open? Can you submit? Can you open up? Or are you continually resisting, resisting, resisting? And that, because that's all your fear is talking and you'll never get where you want to go if you continue to fear and fear and fear and resist and resist and resist. Are you ready to begin to open up more? Because until you do, you ain't going to have the happiness and you definitely ain't going to have the peace that you seek. Have a kick-ass day.